again, traders, and welcome back. I'm glad that uh, you're joining us this evening for the next latest and greatest uh, update video. As I told you last night, some changes happening in uh, the way we present this and the way we move forward. And tonight, what I thought I would do is I'm going to give you a sample of both. I'm going to show you, we're going to run through the markets just as we would typically, um, looking at all the different currency pairs, where we see the action going to happen. We're going to tell you where the buy and sell calls are at. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually going to teach in the extended portion. So for those of you who want or are thinking about becoming part of the private client group, I want to show you what it is that we do in there. So I'm going to take a day and we're going to do that. Now, it's the only time I'm ever going to do this. Um, I'm not going to make this a sales pitch every evening, but I want to be able to um, at least tell you, for those of you who are wondering, because I've had some questions, for those of you who are wondering, I want to show you exactly what that entails. So we're looking at Aussie USD. Uh, we're going to go ahead after we get done with this and break this deal down, and I'm going to show you the most recent trade that we made yesterday, or that I made yesterday, and show you how I came about that, how we dissected it, and where we move forward from here. So guys, starting off right from the jump here, Australia dollar. Go ahead and watch for a one-to-one -one measure move back down into this 127, 1618 confluence around the 8850s area. We're going to be buyers at that area. Look again for bullish divergence. Euro sterling traders on the daily chart still looking uh, now, uh, uh, still looking for those long opportunities at uh, at around those that those 8807s. Uh, 8810s area. So uh, be on the lookout for that in that one to one completion. Looking at, uh, yeah, uh, looking at, at uh, CT score 7 on that, guys, at that uh, 8807, 8810 level. Traders now flipping over to USD Canada. This was the call that we made, the only one, the only, the only call we made that we have a carry forward from last month. Um, called those, uh, looking for those double tops at around 108.10. We did get those. Uh, market is now rolling over. We'll see how far we get to. Um, and uh, but right now, you know, uh, USD Canada is is continuing nicely there against those uh, CTS sixes. Traders now switching over to the pound yen four hour chart. All we're really looking for here is a retest of structure around 153.21. No, uh, no sells right now. No buy signals. Uh, nothing at this point. We we would just anticipate uh, um, a move back higher, and we'll take a look if we can get a break of structure above 153.21. Um, here on the high side, we may have a a trade setup to look out for. But for right now. We get nothing on uh, on pound yen. Traders now sp switching over to the euro yen. Um, those of you who are former students of mine probably caught this 127 extension right at that 786 confluence at around at the at the around 131.18 down here at the bottom. As you guys can see, we came right into that what we refer to as the kill zone, and then rallied right off of that. Um, and so now uh, we've come up. If you had taken this trade, you you would have completed target one. Um, target two would still be uh, you know in the works. But this was the you know, just a perfect trade. It it, it happened uh, just as we would have expected it to. So right now, this would be a trade continuation for you. Um, since I I saw it last night, but again, with the uh, with me being out of town and with the hiccup in in kind of adjusting our our you know our layout for the videos, didn't have a time to put this one out to you. But again, plenty of time to uh, to capture these moves. That's the thing, traders. Moves happen each and every day, each and every day. So if we miss one. It's okay. It's one trade out of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of trades that we're going to take as traders. And so, although we missed this one, we've just been through a couple of other trades that we're already looking at. And, uh, you know, when those end up presenting themselves, you know, we're going to be in a good position to take advantage of it. Um, but for right now, Perfect uh, 127 extension into some ratio confluence on the higher time frame, and uh, and uh, just a really really nice trade. And last but not least, traders New Zealand USD on the four hour chart. This uh, one to one this AB equals CD is going to come down uh, and terminate at major structure support in uh, 1618 confluence right around 169. 
or I'm sorry, 6,900, excuse me. Um, 6850, 6900, somewhere in that area, uh, and these are going to be, uh, you know, pretty good uh, uh, CTS. Uh, it looks like what will be CTS eight or nines down here at the bottom. So position sizing is going to be uh, um, either 0.75 or a one on that, uh, depending on you know where we're at when we actually do it. And uh, for those of you who are former clients or who are part of the private client group. Um, Again, just refer to your position sizing document uh, that let, keys you in on on you know the I guess the nomenclature and how you walk through uh, the rules of engagement and drill down on that. But uh, again, this looks like a pretty nice one to one measured move down into that uh, major structure level and would anticipate if we do get down there some really nice opportunities in that uh, uh, 6850 to 6900 area uh, for some long interest.